Hi FlossTube, welcome back to my channel. You found me, um, my name's Mandy, and you found my YouTube channel about cross stitch. Yeah, it's all cross stitch today. Sometimes I share quilting, but I haven't sat down to sew in a while. Um, so yeah, welcome back. It's been about a week, a little over a week since I, um, sorry, since I, um, filmed. Today is Thursday, October the 21st. Um, yeah, and I just happened to be off work today. The baby's sleeping, so here we are. Um, I have some projects to show you, and actually quite a few whips that kind of went on a start of Palooza the other day. I have some haul. I got um, the Be Stitch Me Halloween box and I also got the small box from Garon Stitchery on um, the small Halloween box so I will show both of those to you and yeah um not really much in the way of life update it's just been work and yeah my mom comes into town soon next next week yeah next Wednesday um and she'll be here for a week to um just do Halloween with us and um my my baby turns two on the first of November so she's gonna be here to celebrate that and yeah so I probably won't have a video update after today for a little while um I am off the weekend but I just wanted to get it in today <laughs> while I had some time so where to start um I did not I don't have any finishes really and I don't have I didn't bring any FFOs or previous finishes or anything like that um yeah my lighting's kind of weird um sorry I don't have a quilt behind me I just kind of wanted to get this set up while he was sleeping and I yeah like I said I haven't really been sewing so I don't have anything new to show per se but um okay let's get started I um Let's see, where to start? Since I filmed last, I, um, I, I worked on this piece by um, Shannon Christine. I was part of her ornament, Halloween Ornaments 2021 Club. So basically two ornaments were released every month for like four months. So we got a total of eight. I of course did not stitch along at all because I was terrible. Um, but I wanted a small kind of start and finish the other day, like last week. So I pulled this out and I started it one day and I was almost able to finish it. Um, so this is just one of the ornaments. It's with DMC. It's the called for DMC. It calls for some beads and some crinic. And so I, I was going to use this DMC. It's like number 5282 instead of the crinic and that's what these two um stars are sorry my lighting is really absolutely terrible today let me see if i can do anything about that hang on hold hold please okay we'll see if that's a little better i, I turned the light on now it's kind of bright in my eyes but i don't have a ring light so uh, i have a different alt light that's quite bright but anyways um yeah so that's what this like it's, it's DMC 5282. I think it's what their kind of version of Krynik is supposed to be. That's what those two stars are. That's what two threads, two strands of this stuff over one, because this is a 16 count Ada. Um, it wasn't terrible to work with. I hated it the first day that I put these in, so I stopped and went ahead and ordered the Krynik, um, which came in. I got that from Garon uh, Stitchery. Trying to pull it out of my. I ordered two different ones. I think it's supposed to be this one, 002, very fine braid. So I might go ahead and switch to that. Um, but I have to see what the coverage looks like. Because there's like a bigger star here, there's some more little stars, and then there's going to be beads um, like as the vine. So I don't know. Maybe I'll um, fuss around with this today after I film. Um, because 
I kind of, I, I'm not going to stitch them all before Halloween. I mean, it's 10 days before Halloween. I probably could do it if that's all I worked on, but we'll see. I don't know. This, this fabric is um, a Be Stitch Me Granite. It's a 16 count Ada. So I really like the other colors and I really, all the ornaments were super cute. So I do want to do it, but um, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Here's our two. Yeah. Um, so that was one kind of random. This is a bag I made that I, it's my least favorite type of bag, <laughs> but it's good Halloween theme one so I put it in there um okay next thing after my video last week I said I was going to start this um Alsmore Cottage by Rosewood Manor and I did I don't think I'm going to stitch these flowers along the bottom I think I'm going to stop it here um I have a while to decide if that's what I'm going to do but here is my progress um so I like to start in the top right corner and work my way left and so this is as wide as it'll be probably next I'll work down to the bottom of that border and then um so that way I can because this is a big this is a fat quarter piece and it's not going to use the whole thing um so that way I like to I like to get the whole border done and then I can cut off the excess and use that for smalls or whatever um I just pulled floss from stash it's mostly Mostly Victorian mottos. Um, it looks like one color in cotton. So yeah, I actually really, really like this piece. Um, yeah. And, oh, and the fabric is, it's a 32? It's downstairs. It's Outback Jack. I think it's either a 32 or a 28 count uh, linen by Be Stitch Me. And the colorway Outback Jack. So that was one that I worked on for a day or two. Sorry, project bag by me. You can't see the background very good, but um, I think I'm a lot, sorry. What else? Then, so I worked on that for a little bit. Sorry, I'm looking at my calendar here. I worked on this mystery one called Autumn Beauties by, um, there's one over there that I didn't bring. Autumn Beauties. So it's a mystery stitch along by Fat Quarter Shop. I'm stitching it on the 14 count hmm, vintage, maybe by Lori Holt. Um, so I'm working on the border. <laughs> I kind of am piecing, you know, just working in random spots. So the border was the first part. This was part two. This is part three. There's like a pumpkin here think and then it, oh it's going to be a sign right here this is a mystery still um that comes out on friday like tomorrow so obviously not i mean i will probably keep this out until it's finished unless i just get a huge desire to start working on christmas stuff but for some reason that hasn't hit me yet so i don't know i'm lots of a mess in here see it's you can't even see it's classic color works I got the floss pack from that quarter shop, um, keeping it in this bag that came as a stitch quarterly, I think. Yeah, I think this was like the fall stitch quarterly one. So I've been, that's been my work project because it's 14 count Ada. It's really easy to stitch on. Um, and then what else? I... Just have a basket over here because I went on kind of a starting spree. <laughs> but I'll, first, I want to show you the things that aren't brand new. Um, okay, sorry. So this, I think I showed last week. I put a like two more, maybe one or two more nights of um, work into it. This is Trick or Treat by the Housewives. Uh, yeah, stitching with the Housewives. This came out last year. Stitching it. I think I have most... It's similar colors. I think it's not the called for, but it's close. Um, stitching it on a purple. Be Stitch Me 25 Count Lugana. I think it's called Evil Queen. I think. So I got a lot of the white done. Um, I think I'm almost done with the white. I just have to finish the witch part. 
Oops. Yeah, like the witch's shirt, her dress, the hat. And then that'll be all the white. And then I can go in and it's kind of like coloring. <laughs> you can uh, just fill in with color. Um, that's that. I kind of wanted to finish that before Halloween, but I it doesn't feel like super fast stitching. And so I get burnt out on it, I guess. Okay. Oh, man. And then this is... Um, this is a, let me see if I can pull it up. This is a PDF um, by Crochet the Go Go. She's on Etsy. It's called Hello Autumn. So that's what it will look like when it's done. I'm stitching it on a Be Stitch Me. What is this? It's a Lugana S'mores. The colorway is S'mores. I think it's a 20, it's probably a 32 count, 32 count S'mores Lugana. I really like the, I really like it a lot actually. Um, this, I should focus on finishing it because it wouldn't take that long. That's a small, I'd like to finish it into a pillow, but we'll see what I, what falls to me. Um, what else to say? I'm switching it with the called for DMCs. So. That's that. I keep it in this project bag that came from the Black Needle Society. Pretty cute, uh, like stitching bag. I, um, this was in one of their boxes. Hmm. I don't remember which one. Probably the last one. The last one that came out. I don't know. Okay. Now for the new starts galore. There's one, two, three, four, five. Because one day I was off work. What day was it? It was last Sunday. Yeah, I was off. We were just home hanging out and I... I was going through all my projects that I had kitted up and I just decided that I should get these started so that I can just pull them out because it's easier I think once they're started to start working on them than it is to start a new thing. I don't know and it kind of bothers me that I have a lot of whips but it kind of doesn't I guess. I don't, some days it bothers me some days it doesn't. Does that sound crazy? Probably. Um, anyways. Okay this is a pattern by brick called uh, by with I needle and thread called brick house sampler. I was enabled because a uh, happy little stitch shop is doing a sew along or a stitch along with it. <clears throat> um, where they she kind of broke it up into three months I think, and so this you know this part was October. I think this is November, December, January. I don't know. I don't follow along with stitch alongs very well. These are the colors I pulled. They're um, not really the called for, but they're close. I just looked at the picture and pulled from Stash because if you've seen my previous videos, you know I have plenty of floss. I don't really need to buy my floss. Um, I'm stitching it on a piece of 35 count. I think it's called Baby's Breath. It's by Week. No, yeah, by Weeks Dye Works, and I did a middle start because I wasn't. Sh I wanted to make sure I had enough border on the the edges, because um, this was kind of this was a leftover piece that I cut off of another project. Um, you can't really see it because it's just white stitching, but um, yeah, so basically I started in the middle, kind of I outlined the door of this house and started going up the side. So that's what, oops, sorry, that's what this is. Um, it's two over, yeah, two over two on 35 count, and I like it. It's it's good coverage. It's not, I think I'm coming to realize that I like puffier stitches better, um, which you'll see with another start here that I started on 36 count and I'm doing two over two. 
which I think a lot of people don't like that, but I do. So, um, that was one start. And I'm going to look up what the schedule is for um, the Happy Little Stitch Shop. Stitch along and see if I can catch up or yeah. try to get on track with them. Um, next, I wanted to start this as part of Sunflower September that Fat Quarter Shop was doing, but I didn't. <laughs> um, because I get in moods where I just want to start all the things, and then sometimes I don't want to start anything. And September was a time I didn't want to start anything. So this is a pattern by Starcy Girl. It's called Raven's Flower Bowl. She's on Etsy. Um, she's the one who did the... I don't know if you saw... The 2020 like pandemic sampler that she let... That was free um, on Etsy. So, But this is what, what it'll look like finished. I am stitching it on a piece of Blood Orange 32 Count Lugana by Be Stitch Me. I absolutely love the color of this thread. Love it. Where did I start? I started in the top right corner and I worked down. So this is just the border. It's just floss from stash to look similar. But this border is in Extrude Designs um, cotton hand dyed thread called, or hand dyed color called Mother Bear. So, but really I love this fabric, like a lot. <laughs> I love the color of this fabric. Um, it, it has all these, all the letters, like the alphabet. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I'm kind of undecided. Um, I don't know if it'll look too plain with just the bird in the bowl, but I think that maybe the fabric is enough that it'll look okay. Be curious what your thoughts are. So that was that new start. Keeping it in this project bag that I made a while back. Okay, oops, there. Um, next is this is in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. Fall 2021. It is a blue flower pattern called Seasons of the Heart. Um, got just a very, very small start on it. Mostly, again, because I was trying to get the border so that I could um, cut the fabric. <laughs> but let me see if I can pull it up. So yeah, this is a series that she has in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazines. Um, it's like that. So everything has like a heart and then it's, it's very blue flower to me. This is um, very much her style, I think. I don't know if I'll, I'll probably finish it as a pillow. Um, it's stitched on 40 count. It's a lakeside linen. I can't remember the name. Maybe vintage. Um, I'm stitching it with the called 4DMC. And that's all I got, just the, the border. So now I'm going to go through and I can cut this, cut it and use that remnant for something. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Two more, two more. Uh, one of them is another Halloween start. It was in, what is the name of it? Cross Stitcher. Uh, it's not just cross stitch, it's, let's see, sorry, I'm trying to pull it up, cross stitcher, it's a magazine, it's called cross stitcher, um, I got a digital, like, subscription, this is what it looks like, and I'm doing that, Emma Compton, uh, or Stitchrovia piece. <laughs> Um, so I just pulled the called for floss. It's on these cute little floss tags that I got in a box from Fiberlicious. I did like a Halloween box from Fiberlicious. Um, and I'm stitching it on 
This is a, it's a Lugana 32 count. It's from Hobby Lobby. Or it's not a Murano, it's a Murano. I can't remember the name. Light Ash, maybe? All I did was that little, a little, the little pumpkin um, in the bottom. Just so I could kind of get fully placed it. So this was literally like one strand of one three ply, or maybe even just one strand of DMC to get it started. Keeping it in this cute owl bag. Unfortunately, so the owl's upside down. So, <laughs> yeah. um, but I thought that was good for Halloween. Okay, and the last one I started last night because I was enabled by Instagram, and a bunch of people were starting this for some reason. There's probably a stitch along somewhere, but I'm I haven't been good about watching floss tubes, so I don't know who started it. But this was a market release. Oh, man. Sorry, there's something sticky on the back of my paper. Um, the Blue Flower Moonlight Sampler. This is a big, big, big old girl. She is 269 by 254. Um, I am stitching it on... 30, oh, 36 count linen in is it called wet sand. So they stitched me linen. Oh, yes. Yep, wet sand. I must have got it at a um, on a uh, like Friday night fight night from her because here's my colors. It's um from Stash. So some of them are called for, some of them are just close. And then, yeah, I was able to, so I started in the top right corner, and I was able to get across to the top left, so now I can cut off this extra portion. This is a fat quarter. It's going to take the whole um, bottom part. It's pretty much square, like I, I told you the dimensions, but um, yeah, so I was able to do like this top line. line part. Um, this will probably take a while. It's kind of non seasonal to me. It's maybe a little bit fallish, but um, it is a, a good thing to work on year round. Keeping it in this bag, I got from the uh, summer, fall. Autumn Equinox box by Be Stitch Me, sorry. So yeah. Yeah, there's that. And that's it. That was a lot of projects. <laughs> um, I don't really have set plans. I do, there are, oh man, there are some things I'd like to finish. Um, probably not before Halloween, but before the end of the year. There's some Christmas things I'd like to finish. So. I don't know. I don't have plans. I don't know what I'm going to work on in the next couple weeks. It's going to be whatever calls to me. I might start 10 new things. I doubt it, but I could. Um, okay, so I will go and I did a uh, giveaway last week. Um, only two people entered. So um, the winner is P. P. Welch. I think Welch it was um, for this pattern, Santa Baby. Um, it would be you can comment down below. You can find me on Instagram, Mandy Mead Stitches. And that's probably the best way to, to get in touch with me. Um, so I can send this out to you. Other giveaway winners are mailed. Sharon, you won the, um, the Celebrate Christmas tube tray. Um, so yeah, I mailed that out the other day. So hopefully you'll get it when you're, in, you're outside of the U.S. So um I'm going to give away this one because this is a duplicate. It's Quaker Berry. It's the Linen Berry. So I think she used to do them separate. Oh, yeah, obviously. She used to do them separate. So this is just, just the linen version, not the silk version. Quaker Berry by Eric Michaels. Um, if you are interested in this, comment. Just say Berry, B-E-R-R-Y. Yeah, I just, it's just a duplicate. So I haven't switched it yet, but. Okay, um, if you don't like haul, this would be a time to turn it off. Thank you for watching. If you like haul, um, 
well, stay tuned. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing, I saw other floss tubers mention this. I think I saw Carolyn Zook um, and, I don't remember, I forget their name. Pam and Steph, just keep stitching. That they like get this sent to them every year. It's not free, um, but they I got a letter in the mail from Cap Cross, Cross. What is it called? Sorry, Craftways. I think it's called. What publishes this? Yeah, Craftways Corporation. Um, and so I remember seeing it, and I was like, oh man, I really want that because there's some cute things in here. Um, and. But I couldn't find like where to buy it, and so I must have put my name on a list or something because I they sent me something like a letter in the mail that said send this postcard back if you want us to send you this book. Um, you're supposed to pay for it, but it's kind of like an honor system thing. So they sent this book with like the payment uh, request or invoice. Invoice is the word. Um, but yeah, this is like a really good, it just feels high quality, I guess. Um, a cross stitch version, I think they release one every year. And there's just some cute stuff in here. Um, like, which ones did I want to stitch? I know somebody did a flip through on this. I don't remember who. Like, that's super cute. That's a Doreen Jones Santa. Um... Maybe it was Carolyn's Zook, Sea Zook Stitch that I watched. This kind of tree one is super cute. Um, there's one in here that I really like. Oh, I really like this fox. Um, that would be a good like transition from Christmas to winter. Oh, and then there's this one. I really like Emma Condon stuff. I think that's not Emma Condon. Is that Emma Condon? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, polar bear guy. So, yeah, there, I don't. I vaguely recall Fat Quarter Shop sold last year's of this, so they might sell this year's, if, but I don't know. Um, but I would Google like Craftaways and see if you can, if you want it, see if you can get it. Um, Several, several weeks ago, maybe like two months ago now, I placed a pre-order with, or I ordered some fabric from Fiberlicious because they had this, she has this colorway, it's called Press Petals, and I wanted to do a Mirabilia on it. Um, sorry, the window is kind of blowing it out. Um, just this really pretty purple purple piece. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to start a Mirabilia on that one. It's a 32 count linen um, by Fiberlicious. But I also, because one fabric can't travel alone, I also got this like April showers one, which would be really pretty, or also a Mirabilia. So I'm kind of considering maybe switching up the fabric. I don't know. You know, I bet this would look good on our um, Princess Eliana, Princess Elena. That Mirabilia would look good on this, I bet. Maybe. Um, and then I just got some random, because this color was pretty, 32 count Neverland. And this is a very, like, fuchsia bright 32 count uh, Daydream. So those came from Fiberlicious. I really like them. Um, okay. Almost to the boxes. I went ahead and got Lori Holt's planner for 2022 it's pretty good quality it's a little bit small um i like bigger pages like this is what it is right now so it's it's not much smaller so it'll it's doable i really like planners i like the idea of planners but i'm not good at sticking with them but i thought maybe if i get a nice one <laughs> stick to it um, I also or ordered some of these like thread, what does she call them? 
plus eggs or something like that, but I just like the shape. I don't care that they're an egg. I got some plum paisley, and then I got this um, Blessings Be Thine. Just thought it was pretty. From All that came from Fat Quarter Shop. Okay, and then if you're trying to be surprised by this box, either of these boxes, you should just turn it off now. So this first one is the Garon Stitchery. It was like the mini Halloween one that they, they released a couple days ago last week. Um, so it came with, I guess this is an exclusive pattern, Needle Bling Designs, Frank and Stitches. It's cute, but I'm not going to stitch that. So it'll be a giveaway at some point. Um, came with some finishing. It's in a super cute bag. Like all, Their attention to detail is really, really cute. Um, like this, this decorated themed bag. It looks like it's got some, uh, some, eye, some pins and some, what is that called? Chenille trim from Lady Dot Creates. Came with this cute needle binder. Um, came with this like. Tin, I guess it's just a needle tin. There's a needle in here, and there's like a little magnet so that, yeah, you could put your needles in there. Came with, um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, it came with some fabric. It says Needle Bling Designs Gear on Green in 32 count. I think it's, it's all for finishing that, um, that pattern. So it came with some finishing fabric, which this reminds me of Minecraft. And then this little small, it's not, it's green, it's not blue. It's looking blue in the light. I don't know, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, it's a bluish green, but it looked a lot bluer on the camera. So yeah, I'm not going to stitch that pattern, but I'm definitely going to incorporate this into my stash. And then it came with um, some DMC came in this cute little like coffin. Sorry, little like coffin paper from the DMC was inside. Oh, and some floss drops. These are good. Floss drops, DMC. So yeah, um, that is that one. I don't know, I think if I should keep this coffin and like decorate with it somehow. Anyway, okay, and now the Bestitch Me box. I get the, um, I got the Epic box. So it came with like four fabrics, um, some floss. I really like this one. I think, I think Halloween is probably her favorite because. The Halloween boxes always seem to be. That's not true. They're all good. They're all really good. Um, I don't know. I just like this one. <laughs> what I'm trying to say. So, came with this bag. Um, it's a little bit not my style, but I like it. Anyways, these the zipper pull or scissor fob or whatever you want to call it. It's got like little skull and pumpkin and it's just it's cute. I want to I want to learn how to make these because it looks like fun. Um, the kind of goodies extra goodies it came with these are counting pins which seems to be the theme. Um, it's two counting pins and then it's on like this. I don't know how to use counting pins. I've tried. Um, and I mean, I guess I get the general idea of it, but I, I don't know, I still like it. And I'm keeping it by my stitchy spot so that I can use it. Sorry if you can hear the two-year-old, he needs to be sleeping longer, he barely slept. I came with two different needle minders. This ghost is super cute, and this pumpkin is super cute. Um, some candy. Um... Came with, what is this, a needle threader. I think this is another, like a pin cushion you can put 
pins in here and then these floss drops. So she must have some type of cutting machine and cuts these out because these are cute. Um, this is like my favorite little accessory. It's just so adorable. It's a scissor, scissor case. So there's like scissors in here and there's a needle. This is just decoration. It's actually glued in there, but like, I don't, this is just cute, 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 cute. Um, yeah. I'll have to say about that. <laughs> um, so I'll go through the floss. So usually it's like eight skeins, um, anywhere from 10 to 50 yards. This one's called Smashing, Smashing, like Smashing Pumpkins, I think. This one is called This is Halloween. This is Soul. Pretty purple. Froggy is like a bright green. Trick or Treat is a really super variegated orange, purple, and green. Mummy is a good like, variegated brown. Haunted, which maybe came in last year's box. This is a bigger 50 yards. Um, I have to see if I have some of that. And then cauldron is just like the black. And then the fabrics are nice. Um, I got the 32 count Lugana that quarter. This is, again, smashing. It's a little bit not that deep orange. It's a little bit more... Um, Maybe it is. Tombstone. It's a good, like, modeled uh, greenish color. I really like this one. It's called Paranormal. It's kind of like light, light purple, light blue, gray. It's really, really pretty. This one's good, too. Um, haunted. So it's, like, blues and greens and kind of neon -y. but yeah, I like that one a lot. So again, a good box. Um, I really do, I really, really highly recommend her boxes. I think they're a good deal. Um, she, she, does, she just does a good job. So I don't have anything else to share. Um, that was plenty. I, yeah, like I said, I don't know when I'm going to be back. A um, couple weeks, just because next weekend is Halloween and my mom will be in town the weekend after, I don't know. Maybe I'll be back in two weeks. I don't. Yeah. Um, but I, I, if you want to win that giveaway, say Barry. Um, if you if you like the video, I would love it if you subscribe. Leave me a comment. Thank you for everybody who does. Um, excuse me. Comment regularly. Um, I really do appreciate it. And that's it. I'll leave you here. Have a good. Uh, have a good weekend. Have a good. Good stitchy time. Uh, yeah, bye.